Welcome back to my channel, Classic Volkswagen Lovers, a junior with Classic BW Bucks. So what am I up to today? Uh, for a long time, I've been wanting to apply a coat of uh, paint or primer to my floors to avoid them from rusting and maintaining a clean surface. So today, I got me uh, some leftovers, uh, high performance uh, rusty metal primer that I had in my shed. I added uh, some thinner and uh, I then added a few drops of the uh, 2KHS hardener, the FH411. Then I mixed it in this little bowl right here with a regular brush and uh, I went ahead and apply it to the car. I brush, I brush all of the floor and I'm basically experimenting right now. So the idea was that, well, I am still going to cover that. And I also have the idea to apply uh, another coat of paint with like uh, rattle cans or maybe just get my, uh, my automobile uh, hand gone sprayer and then spray paint it. But then I thought about it and I said, well, you know what? I'm still going to cover that anyway with the uh, sound denner that I have over there, which is that one that's got the little um, silver finish. So even if I didn't apply a second coat of uh, paint, I think that's going to be fine. So my idea is to see what happens um, and how you know efficient that may be or not. I've always had this idea to do this, so I wanted to experiment with the car, but in a area that I know is going to be covered anyway. And at the same time, I am applying some kind of a media that is going to protect the surface from getting rust. So in other uh, terms, if you have uh, absence of oxygen, you won't have any oxidation therefore rust free so that's the idea um so that's about it i mean nothing complicated um a friend of mine today asked me uh what would I, what did i have um a plan or or what do i have left to get uh, sunny uh, row worthy meaning you know mechanically sound on the row not to include the interiors because that's another job but um right now you guys know i installed the transmission so that's in and um, what's going to be like a little setback is the fact that I purchased uh, a new set of bolts from BDUF and um, it's just delay. Um, nonetheless, I have to say that they have been uh, very proactive in communicating with me. They have uh, sent me emails and uh, they also told me that they were delayed because they stuck out and they were waiting on MP to actually ship uh, a batch to them but I think uh, just as of uh, yesterday uh, they actually uh, shoot me an email where they told me that my uh, my two bowls actually shipped so I'm waiting on that uh, my experience with them has been pretty good you know so far um, and every time that they ship uh, and they give me an estimated shipping uh, day with the tracking information usually I get it like two three days earlier so I'm counting that that happens and then I'll go ahead and install the engine. Uh, the next thing that I think is going to be a little bit of a, a, little bit of a challenge is the uh, fact that I have to wire my car. I started it. Uh, it's just kind of like, I don't know, about 50%. Uh, the main, uh, the main uh, uh, harness has been ran over to the side as you can see. Right now I have it lift up with the uh, bungee core right here so that it won't get painted. Um, and then I think that once I'm done here with this video today, I'm just going to go back in the rear of the car and begin to uh, configure the uh, tail light connections with the, uh, the main harness here. And also I need to do some soldering. I need to get uh, my solder gun and um, solder one of the wires that was caught off uh, from the harness from the harness and um, get it uh, done and then get some shrink tubing and heat it with the heat gun and that will be done. That's about it. Then I have to come here and uh, work with this mayhem. So I have to take this uh, 
uh, harness here and then stick it through the bottom somewhere in here uh, and then I need to go in the uh, front luggage compartment and uh, start um, configuring all the connections for the fuse box and another thing that I want to do uh, I'm gonna get out uh, those pedals right there and um, just wire brush them nice and then spray paint them black and as well I'm going to do it with the uh, the shifter here and the e-brake handle that's something that I want to do uh, I'm not sure that I'm gonna be painting this here there's no rust in it uh, and then that's going to be covered by the uh, carpet so that's not gonna be a problem I am also going to apply sound denning here so that's not gonna be an issue so far so good um, I am actually moving onward with the uh, progress in the car and uh, feeling every day a little bit more happier that I'm coming to a final product I can't wait to drive this car out on the road I I love driving my my restore cars and I enjoy them very much um, also I think that this week um, I'm going to uh, get my uh, MP uh, replica wheels that I spray painted uh, gold and then I'm going to take them to a tire center and have the uh, tires installed to see what it looks like and also uh, a couple of the things that I have in mind uh, I'm thinking about lowering the uh, uh, torsion bars in the rear but I will do that after I install the tires in the car to determine um, the height from the tire to the fender so a few considerations that you know that you have to keep in mind um, so tire size you know rim width and stuff like that you always want to consider that so yeah so that's the plan um, lowering the rear back by uh, moving uh, one or two splice the uh, the torsion bars and then the other uh, thing that I have in mind is that I am planning to either uh, take an extra set of um, um, chuck absorber struts that I have in the shed from another 1971 and maybe cutting the lower plate and lowering it to, uh, lowering it two inches uh, to drop the car in front two inches or uh, maybe consider buying them already uh, may which would be the uh, easiest thing to do and um, not having to reinvent the wheel right but anyway, uh, when the time comes, I'll determine what I want to do and um, I'll actually uh, take action. But if you are curious about what I just said about lowering the car by cutting off the well in the uh, strut and lowering it, there's a very nice video for a guy. I can't recall what is his name, but I'm actually subscribed to his channel uh, that he uh, took I think a super beetle. I want to say it was a 1973 or 74 and uh, He caught off uh, the wells of the uh, struts and um, Lowered the car two inches and then he rewelded it and it doesn't seem to be like a very uh, hard project to do um, I have a welder. I have an angle grinder. I have cutting wheels, so I think I can do it uh, so basically it's just gonna come to um, time frame do I want to do it do I have the time to do it or do I just want to save me some time and trouble and not sweat it and just go ahead and buy them and install them that's about it I mean there's not much uh, I think that the uh, other things that um, will be challenging it's going to be having to remove all of the glass from the car uh, the two uh, side rear uh, windows and the rear window in the front uh, windshield and then after you remove it then you can go ahead and install the liner well that's uh, not an easy job I've done it before but uh, in convertibles uh, convertibles are a little bit easier because the liner um, you don't have to struggle as much as you would with this here um, 
and uh, the 1972 that I restored in 2012. I did a very good job at the uh, convertible canvas uh, uh, top and um, it came out pretty nice. So I, I took my time, I took, you know, I measured twice, cut once because that's something that you want to make sure that you do. Well, anyway, uh, that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, you can give me a thumbs up. Until then, this is Junior with Classic VW Bucks and Sonny the Super Beetle. Junior out.